remember the guy who was handcuffed, banking while black. Okay, remember that story? Uh, well, the bank manager, something has happened to that bank manager. Let me give you the update. Uh, let me remind you of Joe Morrow. Let's put up a picture of Joe Morrow. Completely innocent, went there to cash his check. Uh, his check was appropriate. They decided to tell him, you people always have fake checks. That's what the bank manager told him, you people. Well, they finally called his job after calling the police. And his job said, yeah, this is a real check. He's one of ours, he works for us. All right, the head of US Bank is now apologizing for what is being called a classic example of banking while black. After customer was accused of fraud and put in handcuffs while trying to cash his check. As five investigates first reported this week, a US bank manager in Columbia Heights called police to report a possible fraudulent check and a suspect posing a threat. Joe Morrow's check was real, but police body camera video shows the manager didn't call to verify that fact until after Morrow was in handcuffs, they wanted him locked up. Joe Morrow, 23, had just finished a 12 hour shift at a grocery distributor in October. When he was when he tried to cash a $900 check at a branch in Columbia Heights, Minnesota. The teller serving him called a manager over. They were all looking at me and just staring at me and then at the check and then staring at me again and I'm already knowing what they're thinking. The check is fake. Morrow said in an interview with KTSP TV of Minneapolis about the incident of banking while black. The manager, he came over and said, Joe Morrow, your check is fake. And I said, what? Morrow recalled, he said, you people always coming in here with fake checks. Let's put up a picture of the manager, John Askwith. Well, guess what, that fake check, which was a real check, John, just got you a real firing. He is gone, okay? Um, they eventually called, the employer confirmed it. And naturally, it got significant attention. Uh, and so the update is uh, that branch manager is no more. Uh, and we need to continue to expose things like this, social uh, discrimination. Discrimination, just doing regular stuff. And because you're black, you are called you people. All right, Doc, what are your thoughts on this one? Uh, well, I, I could not agree more. I mean, don't, don't, um, I mean, the, the, the moniker you people, right? That goes back yeah, since the beginning of, of the country. And, and, and it, it really is a very derogatory framing that implies, um, oh, you people are not, um, you shouldn't be using the bank. You don't have a right to finance, to capital, to any kind of betterment in a certain kind of way. We know Ross Perot, for example, uh, got in trouble for using that during the Re Republican mm -hmm. primary many years ago and, and factors like that. And so in a way, it just speaks to the ongoing nature of implicit bias and why implicit bias is so important to continually assess and, and call out in a particular way. And, and it sounds like the right outcome happened here. But again, it's the same story. How many times has this happened where it didn't make it onto Facebook? It didn't make That's it right. on television. And it's just kind of the everyday microaggression of, of stuff like this. Yeah, um, one silver lining here, uh, the young man, uh, Mr. Joe Morrow did receive a settlement from the bank. Uh, naturally, there is now an institution of diversity training. These things are moving in the right direction. At first, the bank denied any wrongdoing. Now, because shows like this would not let it go at that, they are changing their tune.